Lee, Miguel, and Judy are trying to decide what to do about lunch. Okay, group, what's up for lunch? I could go for a slice of pizza. Me too. I'm up for pizza any time. Great. There's this new pizzeria that just opened around the corner. They serve brick oven pizza. I've been dying to try it out. What's the deal there? Do we order by the slice? Or should we get a whole pie? Gosh, that would be perfect. But only if the three of us can agree on the same toppings. The three are seated at the pizzeria. Now that we're here, I really can't decide. It all looks so good. Look at all these toppings. Miguel, what's your favorite? I like a combo. Mushrooms, anchovies, and extra cheese. Anchovies? It makes me thirsty just thinking about them. I love pepperoni. I love them all. Who can pass up Italian food? I eat pizza so often, I think of it as American. But you've got to hand it to the Italians. They came up with the greatest culinary invention, the pizza pie. Wait a minute. What about spaghetti and meatballs? Now that's my favorite. I'll take pasta in any shape and size. Hey, we're getting distracted. Didn't we come here for pizza? Right. Let's call the waiter over. So, what can I get you? Two pies. One with anchovies and pepperoni, another with extra cheese. And peppers. Don't forget the mushrooms. Oh, hold on. Which toppings go on which pizzas? Good question. I think we'd better get our act together before we order. Maybe we should just order by the slice. You're right. We'll never agree on the same combination of toppings. But getting a whole pie fresh from the oven is so much better. I've got an idea. How about if we each pick one topping for each half? Brilliant! The problem is, two pies with four halves give us four choices, and we're three people. What if we leave one half plain, so there are only three choices? Even more brilliant! Lee, you're not just a pizza lover, you're a mathematical genius! Vocabulary What's up for? I could go for, be up for, pizzeria. このピッツェリアというのはピザを食べさせる気楽なレストランのことです。Around the corner. Brick oven pizza. Be dying to. Try out. By the slice. Topping. Then let's go on to the second week. Please listen to the first part of A Pizza Agreement. Lee, Miguel, and Judy are trying to decide what to do about lunch. Okay, group, what's up for lunch? I could go for a slice of pizza. Me too. I'm up for pizza any time. Great. There's this new pizzeria that just opened around the corner. They serve brick oven pizza. I've been dying to try it out. What's the deal there? Do we order by the slice? Or should we get a whole pie? Gosh, that would be perfect. But only if the three of us can agree on the same toppings. Then please repeat the first part line by line. Okay, group. What's up for lunch? I could go for a slice of pizza. Me too. I'm up for pizza any time. Great. There's this new pizzeria that just opened around the corner. They serve brick oven pizza. I've been dying to try it out. 
What's the deal there? Do we order by the slice? Or should we get a whole pie? Gosh, that would be perfect. But only if the three of us can agree on the same toppings. Good. Then let's go on to the key expressions. Number one. I'm up for pizza anytime. Be up for 何々は、何々をする元気、意欲があるという意味の、まあ、会話的な表現です。食べ物について述べる場合には、I'm up for 何々 anytime。私はいつだって何々は食べたい、食べる気があるとなりますが、まあ、要はそれが好物なので、満腹だろうと、何だろうと、食べることができますということを表しています。Exercise 1 One. 私、いつだってデザートは食べることができます。I'm up for dessert anytime. Two. 私、いつだっておかわりは食べることができます。I'm up for another helping anytime. Key expression number two. I've been dying to try it out. 前からその店で食べてみたくてたまらないんだ。be dying to 何々は何々したくて死にそうだ、たまらないというやや大げさな意味になります。have been ing の形はその気持ちを今まである期間持ち続けていることを表しています。exercise two. One. 前からあのレストランへ行ってみたくてたまらないんです。I've been dying to check out that restaurant. ここで check out の代わりにただ go to that restaurant でも構いません。Two. 前から彼女を直接見てみたくてたまらないんです。I've been dying to see her in person. これはまあ、ハリウッドのスターなどに対して、ジェフ言えますよね。<笑>